Sasa kitu yenye inatusumbua ni hayongo kwa jina ingine ni striker. Ndiyo inafanyanga mayindi asikuwe mrefu. Yani aimei vizuri. This is the first sign of banana bacterial disease. In our local language it is called Chiwotoka. Simply because the leaf looks as if it has been steamed down. As the banana bacterial disease advances, all the leaves get attacked. Eventually, the whole bunch completely dries down and the plant dies. Agriculture is the backbone of Africa's economic development. As 70% of its people depend on it for their livelihood. And that's why the African farmer is at the heart of AATF. The African Agricultural Technology Foundation, AATF, was created 10 years ago to address the agricultural challenges facing the African farmer. AATF works in Sub-Saharan Africa to address production constraints related to smallholder farming. And these areas include addressing the impact of climate change, pests and diseases, soil management, nutrition management, improved methods for breeding, as well as mechanization. These problems were not unique to Africa, and technological interventions had been developed by companies in different parts of the world to deal with them. These interventions range from chemical, mechanical, biotechnological, and process-based solutions. However, these technologies had been out of reach to the African farmer until AATF was born. At that time, most of those companies were producing products that were only of interest to developed countries. Rich consumers, rich farmers. And I am told that um, Gordon Conway, who was the president of Rockefeller Foundation at the time, had made a statement to the effect that you guys don't care about the poor farmers. You only make, you know, your genetic advances, your technological advances for rich farmers. And they, in turn, the company said, if we could do, find who to do business with in the poor countries, we would be able to do that. And that's where the, the idea of the foundation came up. An organization that will broker relationships between the big companies that have proprietary technology and those countries that want to have access to these technologies for the use of their small workers. So that was the, the original reason why USAID came together with the Rockefeller Foundation to help, help get AATF going in those early days, about 10 years ago now. Today we are involved in 10 public-private partnership projects across 60 organizations in 10 countries uh, that offer great potential for economic and health improvement of the farmers and their families. These 10 projects are Water Efficient Maize for Africa, Striger Control in Maize, Port Borer Resistant Cowpea, Bacterial Wilt Resistant Banana, nitrogen use efficient, water efficient, and salt tolerant rice, aflatoxin control in maize and peanuts, cassava mechanization and agro-processing, hybrid rice, the Open Forum for Agricultural Biotechnology in Africa, and Seeds 2B. These projects are at different stages of development and their products, of, some of their products have reached the farmers and others are at confined field trials in six African countries. We have also contributed to strengthening the capacity of scientists, policymakers, regulators, seed merchants, extension service providers, journalists, and farmers to be able to develop and deploy these agricultural technologies. Some examples of projects that AATF undertakes are in Kenya, Nigeria, and Uganda. Actually, AATF is one of our strongest anchors in technology generation and even in delivering them to farmers. So they have been very supportive, especially in Uganda on the major priority commodities. We have had a lot of input from AATF. It's 
Several years ago, Arcadia donated three key agronomic technologies, nitrogen use efficiency, water use efficiency, and salt tolerance to AATF for use in the newest rice project. We did that on a perpetual royalty-free basis, which means that no farmer in Africa will ever pay a fee for having these technologies in their improved rice. We were motivated to do that based on the belief that a royalty-free approach would facilitate rapid introduction of the technology in Africa and get the most immediate results in terms of improved food security on the continent. We as scientists in a national program, we can now validate these technologies, follow our procedures in country which involves testing these technologies under confined field trials, and therefore comparing with the existing technology which we have been undertaking but slightly slow and with less resources. I therefore see that AATF is taking us several miles ahead. Apart from the newest rice project, AATF is also working with Ugandan farmers and scientists in the development of bananas with resistance to the bacterial wilt disease. If there is a solution which can completely wipe up the banana bacterial wilt disease, that means my objective of planting bananas will be achieved because it will be increased food security and at the same time increased income, eventually improve the standard of living at household level. In Kenya, AATF is working with local partners to control the noxious striga weed which reduces maize yields. My name is Charles Odiero. I work for uh, OTIT, and OTIT means Organization for Transforming Initiated Technologies. Uh, this is a local NGO. SEG is a big problem that is making our farmers not to benefit from what they do in their farms. This shamba ilikuwa ifanyi vizuri kwa mana ilikuanga na striga mingi, ilikuanga mingi. Paka sa ile imekoma. Shamba imekuwa tu purple yote. Na sasa vile tulikutana na organization yote it, akatufundisha, vile tunaweza kuikontrol. Walituambia kama striga imekuwa mingi sana, unawachana na zile mbegu zingine. Upande tu hii mbegu ya Western Seed 303. Hii mtaro ilikuwa na towanga tu. Kitu kama one sack. Ndiyo unaweza kupata. Lakini saa hii ni kipanda, Unapata gunia ine ama tanu. Sasa nimeona kama hiko na tafauti kubwa. Siwezi wacha hii maindi ya uwa hayongo. Nitakua tu nikitumia hii maindi. Kwa mana imenisaidia sana. Imenifanya mavuno yangu ikue juu. Kuliko ya zile mwaka zingine. Sasa hiyo mavuno kama imekua juu ni mzuri. Kwa mana watoto watapata ya kukula. Zingine utauza utatumia kwa njia ingine. <laughs> the cowpea is grown on 12.5 million hectares of land in Africa and an average of 200 million people consume it. Cowpea is a very important food legume in Africa uh, because of its protein rich grains and uh, the major challenges in the production of cowpea that reduces yield in the field and in the storage includes diseases, insect pests. For many of the insect pests, conventional approaches of controlling these insects have been very difficult. The most reliable so far is the use of chemical insecticides. And the problem with these insecticides are they are hazardous to human health and they also require special education by the farmers for them to be able to handle it properly. AATF is involved in implementing the port borer resistant cowpea. The use of the BT gene in controlling the Maruka insect pest has been successfully conducted in confined field trials in Nigeria and Burkina Faso with similar trials planned for Ghana. AATF has been very central in facilitating access to this technology. Uh, the gene with which we use to develop improved varieties is a licensed technology. AATF facilitated our access royalty-free from the owner of the technology. 
As a mechanical intervention, AATF is accelerating cassava production and processing through the Cassava Mechanization and Agro-Processing Project. This process takes the drudgery out of planting the cassava and reduces the maturity time by introducing improved stem varieties. This is just five months old and no oh. one can believe it that it's five months old. So this is the, this is the ATF uh, magic. They want us to succeed and we have started the success already. If you look around, we know that ATF, AATF is doing something wonderful for us. AATF's achievements in the last 10 years would not have been possible without the invaluable support of their investment partners who include the Rockefeller Foundation, United Kingdom's Department for International Development, Syngenta Foundation for Sustainable Agriculture, United States Agency for International Development, Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, the Howard Buffet Foundation, and PepsiCo. Africa's population is going to hit a billion not long from now. So the challenge is how is the ATF and its partners ready to feed these a billion people that will be on this continent? And therefore, we need to see a strategy, a new strategy developed by AATF and its partners on how we can quickly increase food supply by actually using modern technologies and applying the same for, uh, to many, in many African countries. ATF has got a number of outstanding projects at the moment. For example, they are breeding a form of cowpea that's resistant to a terrible pest called Maruca. They have new forms of maize that are tolerant of drought. Africa is beset by terrible pests and diseases and weeds and also by increasing drought. And so being able to tackle these issues is what is important. There is no organization in Africa remotely comparable to the AATF. There is no other organization that can get technology free into the hands of farmers. Well, the, the technology comes free. The development, of course, costs money, and that's where we need the donors. I would also appeal uh, to the international community, and especially to African governments, to provide the necessary financial support to enable this uh, organization which is doing so well even chalk greater heights. We understood some of the factors that led to the creation of ATF 10 years ago. As we look forward we've got to be able to determine what are the factors that are going to shape the, the life and the work of ATF in the next 10 years. The fact that ATF is celebrating 10 new products in 10 years and in 10 different uh, scenarios it tells us that, as a matter of fact, um, AATF is relevant to the work we're doing in agricultural research for development of the continent today. In our work with AATF on the newest RICE project, some of the things that we really appreciate about AATF are the spirit of collaboration and the great openness. The value that you get with the ATF is, by partnering with them is that you are able to access technologies that you, are, you would otherwise not access being a small and medium-sized company. One of the things that I think is, is fabulous about AATF is they, they really provide a vital service to a lot of the, the national research programs across Sub-Saharan Africa. They really uh, focus on, on getting access to these technologies in a way that can allow these national research programs to focus on, on their core competencies, on actually doing, doing research, on, on bringing these technology forwards. And, and AATF really makes that job easier for them. I like AATF for three things. One is the holistic approach. The second one is the flexibility in implementation because they allow the national organizations to be flexible. I also like them because of the subsidiarity that they demonstrate. They share the responsibilities, they share the credits, and sometimes even when we make the mistake, they share the challenges with us. What I like from ATF is like unique in terms of when ATF was created, there was no organization that had set before AATF having that mandate 
of bringing appropriate technology to farmers. The team of people that you get to work with, they are people who are dedicated to their jobs. AATF is like a family. I love the neatness. The staff at AATF are very caring. What I like about the AATF is that we broker technologies royalty free for smallholders in sub-Saharan Africa. I am impressed by the way AATF involves its stakeholders in determining that which is appropriate for them. Rather than uh, telling the farmers what uh, they need to do, they find out what the farmers need. I love that about AATF. What I like about AATF is its contribution to working on the enabling environment for access of technologies by farmers. Personally, I have grown at AATF. My skills have been enhanced. You're given space to grow, make decisions, and stand by the consequences. What I like about the ATF is the team spirit. And I'm sure with that kind of teamwork, we can make a whole lot of difference. And this ATF partnership model ensures that the synergies are enhanced and the system of taking technologies to the farmers availed. I don't think there will be any rest until we see the smallholder farmer uh, in Kenya, in uh, East Africa, in uh, Central Africa, in Southern Africa, and in West Africa, in the whole of Sub-Saharan Africa, where the farmer can truly be able to live off the, their farm. What I like about AATF is the dedication of the staff and the way they interact with each other and all the stakeholders, from the donors to the actual seed companies and the, and the farmers. What I like about AATF is that it operates on a partnership model to access, develop and deploy agricultural technologies. Mm -hmm.